G on the beat. What in the fuck are you guys doing at Treyarch? Literally, what in the shit are you doing? We're gonna play some BO3 for today's video because apparently BO4 looks like BO3 remastered, so I guess it kind of fits. And we got specialists and everything else from the game that's probably in BO4 to be honest, besides the exo movement. Now let's talk about BO4. Because I watched the reveal trailer. It's about two hours after the reveal trailer, so I had a lot of time to, you know, digest everything. And you know, think about everything. Now let's be real here. After the reveal was done, the game looked pretty good, okay? There's a few things that I didn't really like in the trailer, or you know, in the whole reveal. A few things that's gonna happen with every single person. There's a few things that somebody doesn't like, or whatever, that's normal. No groundbreaking stuff for, you know, snipers or trick shatters until I saw Charlie Intel start tweeting. Now, there's a few things that he tweeted. Now they tweeted, the first one I saw, there is no 6v6. It's 5v5 now. Excuse me. Why would you do that? Now granted, they did make the map smaller I heard, so I guess it makes up for a little bit. I don't give a fuck how small the maps are, I want traditional 6v6. And then in the freaking reveal trailer, oh, I gotta get into some gameplay too. And then in the reveal trailer, you have the balls to say you listen to the community. You listen to the community. No, which one of y'all retards said that uh they should make it 5v5 instead of 6v6? Any, anyone? Just probably one retard who works for Jerry because like, hey, let's make this game 5v5. It makes a lot more sense than 6v6, Nick. Why? All we want is traditional Call of Duty. We want boots on the ground, which we got that, okay? No specialists. Some people want specialists. I guarantee the majority of the community don't want specialists. This kind of pissed me off, okay? Health is now set to 150 instead of 100. I'm gonna be so pissed if I get the game. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it first off. Let's keep it real here. I don't know if I'm gonna get the game at all. If snipers are not one shot they probably are they better be if they're not one shot before already a fail right there trick shot community and sniping community it's already fucked thank god they didn't add exo suits to this game because if they did now let me talk about the stuff that were like in the trailer or what they were talking about besides all the tweets and everything because they didn't have the balls Bondi didn't have the balls to be up there and be like, oh yeah, but we took out 66, it's now 5v5, he would've got booed. He would've got booed right off the fucking stage. One of the biggest things that I saw in the whole reveal was, now there's no automatic regen. If you would've listened to the community like you said you did, it'd be 6v6, boots on the ground, no specialist, just traditional Call of Duty, just like Black Ops 2, but... No, it's not. It's farther from Black Ops 2 than we've ever been besides all the freaking EXO movements. Like, World War 2 is a good COD. World War 2 with colors? Probably one of my top three cards it would have been. Black Ops 4 Grand, it has good colors. It has really good colors. It looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. But it's just all the other things now that they just fucking fucked up. Now you have to regen your health yourself. That's gonna be hard for snipers to maneuver, regen, and then, you know, get back into there and try to hit a clip. I just don't get what they thought was good about making it 5v5, 150 health, and everything like that. It just doesn't make any sense to me how they thought that was a good idea. The game might play good. But just all those little things just irritate the fuck out of me. Snipers are gonna be probably weaker now. I just saw a tweet from Charlie Intel that said that the good map design because they played a little bit. Okay, that's great. Still on 6v6, man. I hope ground was in there. I don't care if ground was 8v8. It's still more than 5 people, bro. And I just don't get how they can be like, yeah, we listen to the whole community. No, you're not. Just, just stop lying to us. Nobody asked for 5v5. That may have been the biggest downfall in the history of Call of Duty. Because they didn't announce it on stage. Like, that's a big, big, big thing. They didn't even announce it on stage because they knew it was a bad decision. No, they probably didn't know it was that decision. They knew that nobody was going to like it. People were going to boo it. Guarantee people were going to boo it. And also on TDM, you can't even look at the amount of kills you have. So people go for gameplays, don't even know how many kills they have, unless it's like at the end of the scoreboard or whatever, I don't know. But apparently all the soldiers killed that ratio, which not a big thing, but just stick to traditional Call of Duty, bro. They're just changing so much. I just want boots on the ground, regular movement. Is that that hard to have? And it's not just me. I don't know how much percent, but at least over 50% want traditional Call of Duty. Over 50%. And you're not giving it to us. Man, I just don't get what is going in the head of Vondi or the freaking developers or anything. Like, they're adding some cool stuff. They're actually having a whole PC server, which is gonna be good for PC servers. Like, that's great. That's fucking great, man. But just everything else, man. The way the game's probably gonna play out. Apparently, it's a fun Call of Duty, which I've been reading tweets about when they've been playing. It looks like a pretty good Call of Duty. It's just all the little things, man. Battle Royale is coming. I'm so excited for that. Zombies, I am actually really excited for zombies. I've never been this excited for zombies. Zombies looks amazing, man. Zombies storyline looks just fucking incredible. I'm honestly excited to play zombies and I'm never excited to play zombies. If the maps are very good, 5v5 wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's just freaking, you know the Call of Duty doesn't like change. First initial thought when people see that is just like, wow, they're changing so much shit. It might even be a good Call of Duty. I hope it's a good Call of Duty because I just want to play some good COD. World War 2 is a good COD. Nobody liked watching it though, which killed it. 
and the colors killed it. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately, but man, I just missed the good old COD days. That was actually good COD. There's a lot of changes which sucks, but I guess we're gonna get over it. But the only thing that kind of bothered me is World War II was traditional Call of Duty. It was all traditional Call of Duty, except, you know, the perk system wasn't the same and they kind of did have specialists, but not kind of with like all this advanced movement stuff. Like you could argue that Divisions was kind of like specialists. They had their perks and stuff, but it wasn't like, like you get stuff for it. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's kind of the same, but kind of not. But World War II is traditional Call of Duty. I don't get why they're going back from it because World War II was a good COD. They got the colors right. Battle Royale looks very fun. I think it's like 1500 times the size of Nuketown, which is freaking incredible. And they're going to have all previous maps in there. Like I think it's like known locations. I don't think it's going to be like the whole map, but I am honestly so excited for it. I'll play the fuck out of Battle Royale. But man, I just saw multiplayer is a good fucking thing. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, man, let me know what you guys think of BO4 down below in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next one. Later. Yeah, 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 yeah.